So today I'm going to be showing you how to set your PFSense router uh, gateway as the default DNS resolver to resolve internal DNS requests that are mapped to host names on your network. So I re recently purchased a domain name from Cloudflare to set up uh, dynamic DNS. And DDNS is configured on your WAN address, which is right here, which is the one that is connected to your ISP. And basically a WAN address is just provided by your ISP through DHCP. Uh, so it, it basically sends random IP addresses um, to your WAN address. It configures your WAN address with random IP addresses. And what happens is when you constantly have a changing IP address, if you set up something like a VPN tunnel to, my, to your home network like I have, um, it won't work if the IP address changes due to the VPN certificate. So what I did was I mapped the my WAN address to a host name. So that way, every time the IP address changes, it always gets mapped to that host name. So due to my firewall rules only being applied to internal IP addresses on the LAN, the rule I had set to deny connections to my firewall router from my network was being bypassed. Um, so if you were to type in 10.1.1.1, which is my gateway, it would hit the router um, and then be denied because I'm denying all guest connections to my firewall. But what was happening was if you typed in the, the, uh, the name, the DNS name of my router, it would go up to my ISP and then eventually to Google and come back from a different source address from Google as a source address and then hit my WAN where I could actually access my firewall interface, which we don't want. We want to deny that from our guests. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set your router as the first option to, to, to resolve DNS requests internally. So that way, when someone on the guest VLAN types in the DNS name of my router, it will get blocked immediately. So first, we're going to navigate to services, and then you're going to go down to DNS forwarder and enable the DNS forwarder because, because we want to forward DNS requests to different DNS servers if need be. And then we're gonna query DNS servers sequentially. So for all you Linux users, if you have ever configured the etsy-resolve.conf file, it's gonna query DNS servers in order from first, from top to bottom. And then we're going to do a host override for our domain that we're using for our, our router, which is right here, and then map it to your IP address and to do that, we just add and put your host name, which would be DDNS for me, and then your domain name, which is just cloud, and then you add your IP address. I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do it again. After we've finished that, we're gonna go ahead and save, and then apply the changes. And then we're gonna to navigate to system general setup. So from here, we're just gonna click add a DNS server and you just type in your gateway address, which is your router's address, and then the host name. And that will be the first DNS server that resolves requests. So that way any internal requests are gonna be resolved by my router. And then you can add different DNS servers here. These are two Google servers. So if, it, if your router can't resolve the request, it will be forwarded to these Google servers. Then we're just gonna go down here and save. I've already set this up, so I'm not gonna do that. And remember, because we, in the DNS forwarder we set up, we mapped this host override, our server 
our Dina server on our router will always resolve this address. So anybody requesting it internally, this host address, it will be resolved by the router. Now we just need to check that our Windows machine is receiving our DNS servers via DHCP and not statically mapped. So to do that, we're going to go to Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing, Change Adapter Settings, Properties, go down to IPv4, Internet Protocol version 4, and here we see it's statically mapped to Google. So what we're going to do is obtain DNS server address automatically. So because we set up the DNS forwarding and put our router as the default option, now if we do a CMD, IP config slash all find string DNS, we see that the DNS server is set here to 10.1.1.1. That's our always if yours says something different, you're going to type different than your gateway router. You're going to type ipconfig slash release to release the DNS or the uh, DHCP address configuration. And you're going to type renew to renew your DHCP, which will renew all your, config your DHCP configurations. And then it should have your... your DNS set to your gateway router. Now we're gonna navigate over to the firewall to add a new rule to block request for that domain name on the LAN, on the guest VLAN, sorry. So we go to rules, LAN, you're gonna add a new rule. I've already done so. And I'll show you the configuration for that. It's where action is going to be block the interfaces LAN, IPv4 and IPv6, TCP and UDP because sometimes DNS requests can use TCP, but for the most part they use UDP. The source is going to be your guest VLAN or the LAN that you don't want accessing your your router, your firewall. And the destination will be this firewall, which is itself. I'm logging. You don't have to log if you don't want. And then I just added a name here, block guest to ddns.justcloud.com. And we're going to save. And then apply the changes. And that's it. Now, any requests for that domain name that hit this router will be dropped and they will not be processed because we set up that rule. So anyone on the guest VLAN will not be able to access this router via that domain name. And I will show you that in a quick video on my phone. Just a quick note, my main VLAN is CIA surveillance fan and my guest VLAN, the one that we're attempting to block is CIA guest.